Yo guys and welcome back to another episode Hope you guys are having a nice day, a nice night, whatever time it is But as you can see we are in the second leg Round of 16 in the Champions Cup against Porto So let's get into it We have Lukaku and Kone up top Lukaku, Kone, sorry, looking a bit tired But got Hahn, Suzoko, Sanchez, Scherler, Galloway, Jagielka, Dracovic And Seamus Coleman and obviously Stanek in goal we did draw the first leg 1-1 away which to be honest is a good result always a good result to get an away goal whether you lose 2-1 but look at this an early cross and they get they get an early goal an early away goal which wasn't a greatest start was it but we go straight from kickoff and I was determined to get an early goal back to get to reply straight away and we were on the attack nice nice and quick Got Scherler on the ball. Still going, he's still going. Is he going to put a shot towards goal? Yes. And Casillas spills it and Suzoko is running in there to smash that ball into the back of the net to make it 1-1. And here we go, they've got a loose pass. And Lukaku picks that ball up, gives it to Hahn. He puts a cross in the box and Kone with a nice volley on his weak foot. But it wasn't a great volley, was it? It wasn't... It wasn't testing the keeper but here we go got Sanchez nice little touch to Kone to Han to Sanchez to Lukaku nice bit of play Lukaku back into Sanchez but what a save another great save Casillas I'm gonna say before this before this match totally ends Casillas did keep them in this match big time <laughs> not blaming that for whatever result happens but he kept them in this big time here we go they're, ca they're captain getting booked for a nasty foul on Sanchez and he had the free kick there and everyone you wanted there did not want Jagielka there did you having that volley <laughs> but here we go their corner Stanek comes out and gathers that ball got Lukaku using his strength to hold off their full back here we go, he's going to cut into the... No, he's going to put a cross in and Schürrle there. What an opportunity that is. But Casillas there making a good save and 1-1 at half time. Should be at least a goal in front. We've had a couple of chances. Sanchez obviously have a chance. Casillas pulling off another good save. Schürrle got fat and the yellow card there. We've got Carlos V coming on for Kone and Kabai coming on for Zerko. Yeah, Schürrle got... It got pulled back. I don't know what the hell the foul was for, but it got pulled back. So I thought I'd show you the yellow card just in case he gets another yellow card. He'd be like, where was the other yellow card then? <laughs> but I don't know. But yeah, here we go. Seamus Carmen to Sanchez. And he hits the crossbar and Kabai tries something there. I don't know what the hell he was trying, but he tried something. It wasn't even an overhead kick, was it? It was a backwards kick or something. But here we go. They're on the attack. They're in the box. And they get a volley of way to goal, but... But gets blocked and Delafeu comes on for Schurler. I didn't want to get go down to 10 men to be honest. Stanek with a nice punch there. But Piera gets, I don't know if that was a shot or a cross. I think it was a little cross into the box. We get a quick throw out and we are on the break. And we got Carlos V on the ball. He turns in and he gives it a nice look at that ball to Delafeu. But not a great shot is it? Straight at Casillas. And here we go, we're on the attack again, Kabai. Out to Andre Hahn. What's Andre Hahn going to do? He's going to put in a decent cross. Look at that, Superman punch <laughs> from Casillas. And we go into extra time. Not looking forward to this because it's such a short amount of time, the extra time halves. Not a lot happens, so very short amount of time to get a goal. And you know it always, near enough always goes to penalties, but here we go. We've got Carlos V. On the ball, what's he going to do? He's going to give it to Hahn. A little dummy shot there. Puts a shot to the near post, but another decent save from Casillas. Look, Kabai trying to trying to long ball up to Lukaku. But their defender, don't know what he's doing. Delafo capitalises on it, and he gives it down to Lukaku. But, oh my God. When it went down to Lukaku, I thought, yes. This is going in the back of the net. But, what a save. I don't know if it was a great save or quite a bad miss because it was a great opportunity 
But here we go. Couple minutes until penalties is coming, unless one of us scores. We've got Andre Hahn obviously looking tired, but he's still going with the ball. Puts it through to Carlos V on his left foot, but tries the curler to the far post. But another great save from Casillas, and there it is. Penalties. Hopefully, this man here can be a hero. And we've got Kabai taking the first penalty to the keeper's left, but Casillas making a good save. Got Stanek trying to do everything he can. <laughs> I was just pressing the buttons to see what happens. And he goes straight down the middle. And we've got Kakaku with a second penalty. And it's a good penalty to the keeper's right. And here we go. Come on. Hopefully he gets distracted by the keeper's movements. But hits the crossbar and goes in. I thought they missed I thought he missed that then, but Carlos V, simple penalty for him. 2-2 two, two, but we have missed one we are on the back foot they are in control and what a pen that is look at that smashed it into the side now 3-2 Delafeu got another good save but a bad miss all they have to do is score and they are through I think but what a save what a save Stanek comes off with a great save and Jagielka the captain Puts in the penalty to make it 3-3. And here we go. All they have to do is score. Bang. And he hits the crossbar straight down the middle and hits the crossbar. And we are back in this penalty shootout, guys. And Sanchez puts it in to make it 4-3. 4-3. Now all we have to do is save. All they have to miss. And we are through. But another decent penalty there. They had a couple of good penalties. My penalties are just placement. <laughs> Little power and placement like that. Don't like to put too much power. But here we go. We're a 5-4. After missing two penalties, we are back in it. But good penalty there. Going the wrong way. Got Seamus Coleman. What is Seamus Coleman going to do? He's going to put it in. Casillas putting his heads in his hands. And Pereira, Pereira smashes that. Even if I went the right way, I probably wouldn't have saved that. <laughs> but we've got Galloway here, making it 7 6. So it's an intense penalty shootout, man. I tell you. A very intense penalty shootout. Here we go. Down the middle. Keeper gets something on it, but like again, like the other one, the crossbar. I thought I saved it, but no. Andre Hahn. Goes to the keeper's right, but what the hell? All they have to do, look at that, captain as well. Captain fantastic, is he going to make it 8 7 and put Porto through? Straight down the middle, and yes, he does. Casillas making great save after save after save in, in normal time and extra time, and then he makes three saves in the penalty shootout. Man of the match, in my opinion, to be honest. But here we go, straight in to the Merseyside derby at Anfield. Changed up the team, of course, because of tiredness. We've got Niassi and St. Maximin up front. We've got Suzoko and Barkley in the central mid. Delafeo and Sherla wide. Baines at left back. Foons Mori and Reese Oxford in central back. And Brown in at right back. And obviously the big man himself, Stanek in goal. And we here we go. Anfield, here we come, man. Got St. Maximin to Zosoko. Schurler. Best defensive teams. We've only conceded 12 goals in 30 matches. And bang. Barkley. But I, I was confused because St. Maximin went celebrating. And I was like, what the hell is Barkley's goal in it? But obviously it gets a slightest deflect. Even on the replay here, you can't really see must have like shaved off his shorts or something <laughs> look didn't even look like the ball went near him but it must have done so St Maximum gets a goal there a goal that he didn't even have to work for <laughs> but 1-0 we are 1-0 up and we've got Delafeu on a nice little run got Nia he gives it to Niassi who puts in a shot towards goal and I don't know what the hell Barkley is doing there 
Don't know why he's trying to scissor kick. But here we go. Liverpool on the attack. Markovic down to Klein. What's he going to do? He's going to put it back to Markovic. Who absolutely smashes it over the bar. <laughs> to Rosed. And here we go. On the attack. We've got Suzoko. Chipped over to Niasi. That's a nice ball. And we've got Niasi. Cutting into the box. Cutting in. He wants to put a shot. I wanted to have a shot of his right foot, but it didn't quite work out. He gets tackled, and here we go, Leighton Baines. What a free kick. I swear I'm scoring like a free kick every episode. <laughs> don't know what the hell. But it has to be Leighton Baines or Kabai. Look at that free kick. Right up against the post. Keeper had no chance, and we go 2-0 up after a brilliant free kick from the captain himself. No, it's not the captain. Yeah, he is the captain, sorry. Leighton Baines, and here we go. St. Maximin winning that ball back. Using his pace to get back and win the ball back. Brilliant. But there he goes. He's still going forward after winning the ball back. And here he goes, cutting into the box. He has a shot towards goal, but a great save. But Niasi is there to calmly put that ball into the back of the net. And we're in the 54th minute now. We give it away, Coutinho slides in and wins that ball back, he gives it to Firmino, he gives it back to Coutinho, but what a save. That is a huge save from Stanek, if they would have been back in that, and Firmino has a shot, but it goes just past the post. And here we go, we're going to make some subs, we're going to put Carlos V on for St. Maximin and Suzoko off for Kabai. And they put a look at that long ball, Markovic with a head off. And he isn't very happy about missing that, is he? Look at him. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got Niasi. Look at that. Niasi coming all that way back to win the ball. What, what a contribution that is. Even though it's myself controlling him. <laughs> got Schurla cutting into the box and puts a decent shot towards goal. But easy save for Minnele. And there it is. 3-0 away at Anfield. At Liverpool, Merseyside Dob, huge, huge win. There you go, Evertonians celebrating the victory. And that man there with that brilliant free kick, absolutely brilliant free kick. Next we have Newcastle at home. It was at home, and they're not. They're mid-table. They're not that great. So I decided to sim this match, and we got Stanek. Seamus Coleman, Dracovic, Jagielka, Baines, Delafeo, Suzoko, Kabai, Scherler, Carlos V and Lukaku up top. Pretty much the strongest team I could have picked, to be honest. I, I think, anyway. Not sure about anyone else. Maybe Sanchez for Suzoko, maybe. That might have been the strongest situation in the midfield, but I'm not so sure. But here we go. We get They get an early goal in the 14th minute. And I'm just thinking, oh no, they're going to freaking go ahead and win it, mate. But we get Scherler with a goal just before half-time, but they come out with second half and they bang in a goal straight away. And we've got 20 minutes left. Colback, obviously, for them is injured. I was just hoping for no injuries, to be honest. And it's coming up to full-time, and they get the win. What the hell was up with Simon, man? I tell you, I'm top of the league, and I'm losing at home to Newcastle with a strong, strong team. It is ridiculous. But there you go, three points clear, 32 games played, everyone has played 32 games and we are three points clear of Chelsea and four clear of Arsenal. Arsenal have lost nine games but they've still won 20, the same amount as us. And as you can see, look at that Brighton, they've got another victory under their belt though. So if they get another one, another victory or whatever, look at that Sunderland dropping in, would love to see Brighton pull out of that stay up but I don't think that's going to happen is it <laughs> but look at Liverpool in 13th what the frick what the hell but here we go I'm going to show you the next games I think we're away at Burnley we've got the semi-final against Tottenham and we've got Chelsea so I will see you in the next episode guys and I hope you have a nice day or a nice night whatever time it is there and I will see you in the next episode guys peace